Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an error when you're using a Windows application. It says the file picker UI host is not responding. If you close the program, you might lose information. So I should hopefully show you guys a quick way of how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to actually close out of whatever program or application you're experiencing this error message with. So close out of it and then attempt to relaunch it. And then that's one potential workaround. Something else you can try as well would be just to restart your computer after you close out of that application or just do a hard power restart. Close out of the application. If you have to go through Task Manager and forcibly close it out through Task Manager, you can. So if you, for example, if you right click on the Start button and select the Task Manager, if you notice it said not responding for whatever program you're having this issue with, you could right click on it and then end task. And then once you're done with that, you close out of here and restart your computer. Something else I'd recommend trying here as well, it would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a couple commands in the description of the video. The first one's going to be a system file checker utility scan. So go ahead and copy that, and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter to begin the system scan. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay, so you can see it did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So go ahead and copy the second command in my description. It's an, again another DISM command. And then paste it in the same way you pasted in the first one and hit enter. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer.
Okay, so now if you attempt to launch the problematic application, hopefully your issue should have been resolved. One further thing you can do as well if you're having an issue with a specific application would be to open up the search menu, type in apps and features, go ahead and open that up. In the search apps field, go ahead and type in the application or manually look through the list for the problematic application. And you select the three dotted icon next to it and then just select advanced options. If you scroll down, there should be an option to reset if the app isn't working right. There should be an option to repair. If the app isn't working right, we can try and repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select repair. And then you can also attempt to reset the application. So if the app isn't working right still, you can attempt to reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select reset. So this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. So basically just reinstalling the app from scratch. And go ahead and select reset. And then once you're done with that, again, close out of here and restart your device. And there you go. Hopefully at this point your problem should be resolved. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.